Hello to all my beautiful Aquarians. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October 20th full moon reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. Today we're going to dive into the energy of the full moon and we'll take a look at what you're celebrating. We'll see what your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths are at this time. We'll take a look at messages from the divine directly to your sign of Aquarius. We'll see how you've grown during this cycle and lastly action steps that you can take to continue on your soul's path. So again, welcome Aquarius. If you're interested in signing up for a free reading in the giveaway, or if you'd like a personal reading, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, let's begin here, Aquarius. Let's take a look and see what you are celebrating during this full moon, October 20th, 2021. What is it that you are celebrating here? All right, we have the Nine of Cups. Oh, I love this energy for you. Nine of Cups is all about wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups is all about manifesting. So be careful what you're wishing for. But in this case, this shows up in your celebratory category here. Uh, so I do feel for a lot of you, you're manifesting something very positive. This is about wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, abundance, happiness, success, achievement. So whatever it is that you've been putting your energy towards, you're going to see the fruits of that start uh, starting to manifest in your physical world here. So this can be a new career opportunity. This may be love. Uh, whatever it is in your life, Aquarius, that you want to bring more abundance in is manifesting. So let's take a look and clarify what this is for you. Nine of Cups energy. It is the most lucky card in the deck here. Uh, all right. This can be an opportunity. It says the hermit energy, you have possibly been in a temporary timeout. You've been in a time of solitude here. So this can be you doing a lot of soul searching, maybe even meditating on achieving this success here. So this can go two ways for you here, Aquarius. <clears throat> this can mean that you are no longer in this uh, alone this timeout period. So for example, maybe you've been in a solitary energy in a career or maybe you've been unemployed. This can be you uh, gaining new employment or starting something fresh. For some of you, if you are single, you may be manifesting a new person into your life here. Uh, but I feel like some of you, they're also telling me travel and this may not, uh, the, the hermit does not embody the travel energy, but I am hearing some of you wanting to travel or maybe even relocate, but let's clarify. Ace of Wands. Oh, Ace of Wands is uh, chasing your dreams. You're going all in. So what is this here, Capricorn? Or excuse me, Aquarius. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, Aquarius that you are doing here because you're going all in. You're feeling very inspired. This can be a new business uh, I'm getting for some of you. Maybe you've been doing a lot of meditation and soul, uh, deep soul thinking here, diving into what really makes you happy and you're following some sort of passion, whether this is a relationship, it, it can be a career, an entrepreneur or business opportunity here, uh, but you have some sort of new beginning or idea that is being manifested at this time. Uh, maybe you are going into retirement as well with ace of wands but this is all about a new sense of purpose a lot of you are finding something that really drives you really motivates you so i like this they want me to pull one more this is something that is being divinely guided for you it's something that you've been kind of waiting for this is all about soul purpose as well doing something that really touches your soul on a deep level and i feel for a lot of you this can be uh an entrepreneur business or a side hustle here. Uh, it may be a relationship that you feel a lot of passion towards as well. Oh, wow. Some of you, you may be pregnant or having a child or um, bringing life into this world. We have the nine of cups again. So nine of cups is clarified saying, yes, you are right on target with achieving your wish fulfillment. So Aquarius, this is huge. Whatever it is that you're wanting, whether it's building a family, uh, because uh, the Ace of Wands can be a very sexual, passionate energy as well. But both of these energies kind of play together. It says uh, that you are creative, that you are bringing life or bringing ideas to life here. The 
Empress is very on top of her game. She's all about that maternal protection. She knows she's worthy, confident, and she has a lot of creative juices flowing at this time. So I love this for you. So whatever it is you're manifesting, you're on fire in a positive way. All right, let's take a look here and see what your untapped spiritual gifts and your greatest strengths are at this time. Aquarius, what are your untapped spiritual gifts? They're giving me a name. Uh, Dane, but they're also telling me a great Dane, great Dane. So either your name is Dane and you're, you're great, or you have a great Dane dog. Please take it as it resonates. They're giving me both, but I'm also, uh, maybe you have a dog that's named, uh, Dane. I'm not sure here. Please take it as it resonates. It will not manifest with every one of you. All right. What do we, wow. Okay. You want these ones too. Okay, so it looks like we have a lot of gifts coming in for you here. Oh, wow. Holy moly, we have two aces. We have the king of pentacles. So we've already had three aces coming out for you. Ace of wands, ace of pentacles, ace of cups. You are hitting a jackpot here, Aquarius. The king of pentacles says if this is something business or something with family, uh, the King of Pentacles is all about bossing up, entrepreneur energy, being fully committed, stable, abundant, generous. He's worked his way to the top because he did not give up despite uh, your walls being uh, needing to break free from defensive energy here. But the Seven of Wands showing up right behind it says you're, you've made amends. You felt possibly like you needed to defend yourself in the past. Uh, and maybe even living life on your own terms, because this is you looking a challenge in the eye and saying, you know what? Challenge accepted. I'm going to do whatever it takes to achieve my wish fulfillment here. And this is you standing your ground, you being your personal best here, you going the distance and you non-conforming and living life on your terms. So a lot of you are working your way uh up to these new beginnings in a lot of different areas of your life. So yes, you have the Ace of Wands. You're chasing your dreams and you're going all in. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new beginning and something prosperous, wealth, career, success, abundance. So again, it can be a new job coming in or a business that you're trying to get off the ground. And we have the Ace of Cups. This is can be a relationship, but it's also doing something that you absolutely love. Your heart is wide open at this time here, Aquarius. This is such beautiful energy here. You're looking again, this challenge in the eye. And I feel like you're saying, you know what? I'm going to create all of these new beginnings and I'm going to do it myself because I'm strong enough. And because you're willing to do that, the King of Pentacles says you will be really, really successful. This is huge. Wow. I love this for you, Aquarius. This is beautiful. This is one of the uh, best readings that I've done, and I'm almost at the end here. So full moon energy, you're definitely going into some sweet spots on your soul's path, your soul's journey. You're definitely hitting the sweet spot. All right, so we have a few messages here from Spirit directly for my beautiful Aquarians. So the first card up we have is Listen. We have listen. So this can be you listening to others. This can be others listening to you at this time. And we have gratitude. Gratitude showing up. And we also have strength. So let's just clarify each one of these Aquarius. We have listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. Uh, Spirit's giving me a different message with this listen card. I feel like this is listening to your intuition is what Spirit is saying here. So a lot of you are listening to your intuition and you're understanding what is being uh, guided to you at this time. You're fully understanding and you're paying attention and you're actually acting on uh, what's being said, what's beneath, and you're listening to your intuition and you're acting upon it in order for you to create this wish fulfillment that you've gotten now 
twice. So I love this for you because perhaps in the past you've stuffed down your intuition or you thought maybe it's not the right time or maybe I don't have what it takes now. You're, now is the time. Again, there's a sweet spot in your, uh, in your soul's path right now and I feel like you're taking advantage of this energy. I love this. Next, we have gratitude. There's a lot of abundance coming your way. And uh, life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving. Be thankful for who and what is in your life. Uh, focus on gratitude so you can attract more abundance, uh, attract more prosperity, and make sure that you are not focusing on the things you do not have, but focus on the things that are coming to you and be grateful to the universe for the the gifts, the opportunities that are coming your way. And then we have strength. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and balance body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we are always with you. So it took courage, Spirit is saying. It took determination to fully commit yourself to whatever this is, whatever this wish fulfillment is. Uh, you may have had to cut out things. You may have had to sacrifice certain areas of your life. Uh, maybe people told you that you couldn't do it, okay? Uh, this is you breaking free from the cage. And I feel like a lot of you aren't living by somebody else's standards, somebody else's rules. So for example, maybe you're working in a, a job or you were working in a career where you just, I mean, nobody likes to be told exactly what to do here, Aquarius, but I feel like you may have had a boss that was always admonishing you or telling you, you know, you need to do this or that or this or that and just no recognition for your hard work and you're saying, you know what, I'm going to live life on my own terms. I'm going to take this knowledge that I've gained and I'm going to put it over here and apply it to maybe building my own business or I'm going to work for somebody that appreciates me. Uh, this can also go uh, for relationships as well. Seven of Wands, you're breaking free from anything that's holding you back from achieving the love that you desire and that you uh, deserve, Aquarius. I love this energy for you. All right, let's take a look and see how you have grown. How have you grown during this full moon cycle? Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, gosh. All right, we have Temperance and we have the Five of Swords in reverse. So Temperance is said, uh, saying that you've been patient. Believe it or not, you have been patient with the Temperance energy uh, and you've waited a while to achieve this wish fulfillment. There's something here. So again, whether this is you've been doing some self-healing on yourself before you open your heart up to somebody else, maybe you've been working on a relationship, uh, maybe this is career that you, uh, you've been in for years and years, holding back from making, uh, making the leap of faith or taking that, uh, that moment that was coming in for you here. But I feel like you have learned patience in this situation. And with the Five of Swords showing up here, it says uh, that you are choosing your battles. You've grown by knowing when to fight and when to walk away from a situation here. And uh, you're not letting other people take pieces of you any longer. I feel like you do not want drama. I mean, who does want drama? Some people are attracted to drama and that's just in their energy. However, uh, I feel with you, Aquarius, you know when to choose your battles and you're not giving your heart or your peace to anyone any longer. You're taking back control and you're taking back your worth and your pride and uh, you're finding yourself, and this is in a beautiful way, not an arrogant way, uh, but this is how you've grown is because you've done the healing, you've done the work on yourself here, and you've built your skills. Yes, there was loss in the past. There was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of back and forth energy and back and forth communication that wasn't always good. But I feel like they're telling me somebody was hot-tempered, Aquarius. So maybe maybe you were the hot-tempered one, or maybe that was this person over here, or maybe your shadow side comes out and it's hot-tempered. But I feel like you've grown by being more patient with yourself and patient with others. Uh, let's clarify. Sp uh, Spirit, can you please clarify the Five of Swords for Aquarius, please clarify. Ah, yes, exactly. There it is. <clears throat> 
three of swords. So yes, there has been heartbreak. There has been separation. There's been loss. And that is exactly what you see. Somebody had your heart here. Somebody broke your heart. And I feel like this is how you've grown. You've been patient with yourself. You've possibly been overly patient with others as well. But I feel like you're now uh, knowing again when to walk away from conf conflict and you're healing any resentments is what spirit is saying. So if you have resentment towards someone or if you have uh, resentment towards maybe yourself, you are walking into again your wish fulfillment, whatever that looks like to you. And it certainly looks like it could be love. All right, let's take a look here and see what action steps that my beautiful Aquarians can take to continue on their soul's journey. Oh my gosh, we have a, the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is standing on your own two feet. It is the card of independence. It's the card of self-sufficiency. It's about you reaching goals because you have the resources to do so. And I feel like you are building yourself up. You can see here that she's enjoying the riches that are surrounding her. She's enjoying the resources that are abundant to her at this time. And uh, in order for you to continue growing, you need to continue standing on your own two feet and enjoying the sweet, you can see that she's holding an apple, the sweet nectar of life is what spirit is saying here. So enjoying the fruits of life and being grateful for all that you have here, uh, Aquarius. So let's take a look and get a few messages from the angel therapy regarding action steps that you can take to continue growing. So a lot of you are definitely uh, bringing, you're seeing more abundance in your life. You're bringing in money. Uh, you are feeling good about yourself. There may have been a, a change in the way you look physically or your appearance. Some of you may have achieved some sort of a weight loss goal or a health goal as well. Uh, we have singing and dancing. We have books. And we have heal away addictions. So let's clarify. All right, singing and dancing. It says express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. So some of you may be in, uh, may love to sing, may love to dance. This can be singing karaoke. This could be, uh, you know, doing anything that involves moving the body, moving the hips. Here, this can also be expressing. Some of you may be songwriters or maybe write songs. Maybe you play an instrument. I am seeing uh, a piano as well. Uh, some of you may have played an instrument in the past or maybe sang with a choir, but it's getting back into that energy frequency of doing something you love. Uh, maybe it's just singing out loud. You used to do a lot of it. I'm hearing a very, very beautiful, angelic voice coming through here. So if you are the good singer here, Aquarius, even if you're not a good singer, um, just just sing. Open up that heart chakra and that throat chakra by uh, by getting out what's in your soul here. We have books. It says your life purpose involves writing, reading, educating, or excuse me, editing or selling spiritually based books. Maybe you're writing a memoir. Maybe you're writing a self-help book. Some of you may be reading a book. And whenever I get this card, I love this because spirit always gives me a number and I'm getting the number 71, 71. So if you are currently reading uh, a book and you have it next to you at this time, Turn to page 71. There's going to be important messages from Spirit on that page. I'd love for you to share it in the comments below. And they're also telling me 7 plus 1 is the card of strength in tarot. Uh, is the strength card, the 8 card. Uh, so definitely uh, the page 71 is going to help you uh, become more strong, overcome any obstacles, and bring more strength to your life. And then lastly, we do have Heal Away Addictions. It says it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. Okay, so addictions don't have to be, you know, alcohol, drugs. They can be anything from fearful thinking. They can be uh, addiction, or excuse me, obsessions. It can be manipulation. It can be even codependency, shopping, overeating, whatever that is for you here. It's about uh, healing what does not serve you. All right. And lastly, 
We have, do I believe I am worthy? You are worthy. You are deserving and you are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you, Aquarius, and, uh, and go out and claim the life you have dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. Yes. Today's soul action is this. For a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? Today's mantra. I am worthy of it all. I love this for you. Everything beautifully flows together in all of these cards. You are certainly worthy of achieving great success. And that is what is coming in for you here, Aquarius. So I love this. All right. That's what I have. If it resonates with you, please feel free to hit that uh, like button, subscribe, share, do comment below. I, I read each and every one of your comments. It helps me connect to your energy for future readings. And I'm sending you all out a lot of love and light. Till next time, Aquarius.